Well, of course, Blitzetank has that parry, so it's gonna kind of supplement on some uh, crosshair mix up. So here we go, we're in there. All right, and an early pick up there, but like four, like two looks just a little too far away, and Yumi, you throw in the ice protective out. Good tech from uh, Ronin Healy on there and setting up the cross combo to go in there. A little bit of a happy birthday for, for Tecto Eastside going to take full advantage of it. Get down that health to like a little under half for, for uh, Waltzby. Yeah, I like the way that Tecto's been able to play this, you know, just really trying to uh, subvert the efforts of Ronin Healy going on the approach. Ronin's been hyper aggressive. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, taking advantage of that big tank hurt box, right? You mm -hmm. just liable to get hit from any and all angles. Yeah, like definitely, like, have you ever seen, uh, seen anyone lift a tank like this? No, you haven't. It's BB Tag. <laughs> Going in. All right, try to get in there. You did like going into the C, goes into the cross combo here. Big bodies, good, big damage time now. My gosh, happy birthday. On any other normal character, this would be a dead tank. But because that's a tank, we have super armor on our normals. Mm -hmm. It's gonna equate to a bleeding ruby. Very advantageous situation here for Ronin if they're able to close out. Yeah, like trying to see if they were like get like doing the back like back away here, trying to wait it. Switches out like just to keep up and restore some of that health too, Ruby. Okay. Very good stabilization here from Techno. Oh, yeah, gonna be bringing the herd to Wald. Uh, Wald has 20k health. I don't think this will kill, but it'll do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, just enough here. Going to get the follow up with Corkscrew. Nice 12k. Can't go wrong with that, but just a flick of life there. One more touch will do it here. Just hide a hole in with catches on it. Oh, my gosh. Now, if Ronin, like, the 2B was fantastic no matter what. If they had a little bit of presence of mind, I think they could have guaranteed to kill on Ruby, but still, it's going to be amazing damage on Yumi. Both characters. Quite a bit now on Techno side. It just gets sniped. <laughs> yes, just a uh, no scope right there. And there was an audible gasp from the crowd as soon as like took over on that. So Rona Healy like with the two activated resonance on Techno side here, Woo! trying to get the game to help. Like almost at nine uses a little bit of it and it does get the connection. Blitz tank is down. Techno swinging like a madman against that fat tank hurt block, finding the hit necessary. We're down to a one v one scenario. Dashes Ooh. in. I thought we would do a classic finish the first game with an Astral, but Techno keeps it simple. <laughs> yeah, get, gets in there, gets to confirm, and just like completes it out there. Gets the first one on their side. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. This is like a top eight level match. We're, like, <laughs> we're fighting for a top eight. We're not there yet. And yeah. these two are just sweating it out. <laughs> yeah, it was like there there is no like again, we were talking about it earlier. The bracket there was you were talking about like even in like in the second round, it's like, oh, these are these are these are top grade matches going on. So yes. yeah, no, absolutely. This game to yet again. Now, Ronin had a little bit of trouble uh, closing space, you know, kind of closing the gap initially. Oh, I love that air stall. That was beautiful. Catches on there. Going to get the follow up here. Let's get the throwing off. Waldstein is doing the Waldstein things here. Get the phone up. Throwing out the assist in there. Get on the other side here. Yumi coming out to like, stop that going into a cross combo. Okay, fourth time situation. Oh, was expecting an actress with their Tetsuo off to stay in front. Yeah, uses the burst in there, it goes in there, rushes forward. That's just a forward forward dash motion. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's quite a bit of a here. I've been able to be a pretty resource game. So. Four parts on deck, here comes the tank. Super armor! Not quite enough, though. Ooh. Absolutely necessary DP there from Tesla. Bring in that yep. Yumi, but Ronin still finding the way. Charges forward. All right, yeah, but just gets a little bit of frozen on the other side, and Yumi causing a little bit of an ice tornado going in here into the corner here. Not quite enough to kill. Going to get the follow up here. Again, a lot of life here. Never mind, it's a down. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, yeah, spinning all the bar necessary to make it a 1v2. Unfair fight, wall fight into his own zone, stuck in the corner. So this is just getting harder and harder for Rowan as a switch of on. Oh, wow, I love that. that was cheeky. That was cheeky. So Tecmo made it look like he was going to go for some type of combo there. He knew he wouldn't be able to kill, but ended up forcing a sandwich situation in the corner. Ronan immediately had to block and, yeah, just was not ready for it. Yeah, it's like caught by surprise there, and that was the end of it. Tecmo going up 2-0 so far here. Yes. What was also significant about that situation is, like, if Ronan knew that that reset was happening, I guarantee he would have activated Resonance, right? Right. Because you're just going to have that invul, you're going to, you know, pretty much nullify that mix-up and make Tecto have to earn another situation. But mm -hmm. it was so cheeky. I got hit. I had no yeah. idea that was happening. <laughs> I definitely, <laughs> I, I feel like it, it BB tagged one of those games, you blink and look away, and suddenly, like, the entire round's over. Yeah. All right, trying to reach out with the, the long, loving arm of Waldstein here. Trying to get on forward there with the low, push back with the reject guard. Okay, cross combo activation. Oh man, it's just, when you're playing these big body characters like the way that Ronan does, you know, sometimes you have to spin cross combo just to play neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you like, you can only get so far away, especially when you have two uh, projectile based characters, like, you know, being able to throw it from across the screen and just make havoc happen. Yeah. Looks like they're being rewarded for such. They have Yumi in the corner here. What a clutch Ooh. carry from Tecto. That was so genius. 
Yeah, cross combo, continuing the arrow, arrow ray, follows up. A little bit of a connecting flight going on into the pattern here. Try to go in and for out. Misses on the parry, though, the DP. Having to force out the burst, uh, switching over to uh, the Waltz scene for Ronin. Okay. Ronin trying to dissect this. You see Tekto not taking any risk. Just playing it as safe as possible. Finds the cross up. Ronin lost without a burst. Back into the corner we go. Oh, makes out the reversal. Yeah, just a little too far like away on that. Going to get the follow-up. And going to continue it on the tank. It's like we never even stopped. Right? Unstoppable onslaught of offense. Yeah, you know, big health bar. So, of course, he has to the four bars. But Tekto will spend that any day of the week, especially on a Friday. Yeah. All right, having to hold it back there. Very Whoa. dangerous territory. But gets the grab in the corner here. Right, you're telling me there's a chance. This would be crazy if. Oh my yes. God! Oh, oh okay, okay. No, DP, DP, <laughs> DP made it, made us, made it, made it. Good <laughs> Unfortunately, now what a block. Yeah, blocked and actually using the reject guard to get out of the sandwich combo. Got a little bit of a hit there. Oh Unfortunately, Resonance gosh. did do the healing on that afterwards here, and you're gonna have to play very carefully. He's not giving up risky sweep. I'm starting to believe that two people oh. just slightly out of range. Techto just navigating perfectly out of there. And this should be fatal. Yeah, does have the meter, goes ahead and spins it out here. Oh, no. One more click is all you need, and you're going in, forcing the reject guard again. Hey, man, I, you got to take Ronan out of this problem. He is zoned in. He's, he's just acting like he plays against more Doom right now with, like, you know, some type of crap. He's just like, I got to get in. I need necessary. Oh, God, on a little bit of a happy birthday. Oh, my gosh, just clipping that Yumi for all that it's worth, but then went to me yet again. Tectal. Dude, that, that's the definition of 3-0, but it was close, though. Like, yeah, no, it, <laughs> it really was. Like, it definitely was, like, especially, like, uh, like at the end there, Ronan Healy was trying to, uh, was, like, really toned into, like, trying to preserve the power of Wal the Waldstein there. Was, that, like, able to, like, force the better. Like, going and using those defensive options, like, reject guard to get out of those situations. And was holding on for dear, dear life, but did not quite get there in the end. Yeah, it's as I said earlier, man. He has that mindset that's like molded by Marvel. He has yes. seen it all. He's seen the worst of it that tie games have to offer. So he just has a different type of mindset and approach and just willpower when it comes to a game like this. But Techno East Side, the fundamentals of anime games for mm. decades long, is going to be able to close it out. And that's, a, that's top eight. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's only the first match of this top 16. Oh, yes. my goodness. <laughs> this is one of those things where, like, like, going down the list here, I'm just, like, looking in. Like, like I saw Chop Suey on there. I've seen, like, other people. Like, a lot of names that you're very familiar with if you've been following BB Tag for any type of type of day. If you're not, you're in for a good time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, if you, uh, as Risky Street said, I've been following BB Tag, you're just tuning in and just like, BB Tag in 2023? What does that look like? And like, yeah. the answer is like, it's uh, chaos. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty chaotic, man. It's pretty chaotic. <laughs> yeah, not, not that BB Tag was ever not chaotic. Right. In, in any, any stance of it, but it's still like, a lot of like, where especially where the game is, like, it's just been, you get a lot of different, uh, different teams, a lot of people doing counter picks, like composition, trying to figure out things. I mean, like clearly, like there's definitely some like really good strong teams like Yumi going to be appearing quite a bit here you uh, but uh but otherwise you've got some very interesting teams coming up like you saw with Ronin Healy earlier yeah you know let's take you know on the cusp of making top eight still can make top eight yeah. by the way he's just, losers. just in losers now yeah and just coming off the heels of an evil top six you know this is definitely um a game where you can see a, a lot of different variety I like that you mentioned the counter pick uh, side of things because this next match we have coming up it's a, it's a battle of the yo's because oh. we got <laughs> yo fave scrub and yo game wizard now um, Yo Fame Scrub, you know, when it comes to Ragna, I think at this point it's pretty decided he has like the best Ragna in the world. Like right, he is right. just amazing on that Ragna Ruby comp. But uh, for his most recent major victory at Frosty Faustings, he had to do it by dipping into a Yumi set. Like, that was like one of the first times besides like a Carmine Hawkman that I've seen like Scrub like commit to a team in that high stakes of a setting offline to like win a tournament and it worked out, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like most of the times when I've seen uh, seen Yo Games uh, Scrub playing, it's usually been Rock and Ruby. Yeah. And I've been the tried and true team. The uh, like the, the almost the, bo the, the, bo the box, cereal box heroes of the game in some ways, so. Yeah, exactly, you know, to be um, pro tactics, you want to cheer for Rag and Ruby right on the box art, but yeah. Um, yeah, Yo Game Wizard on the other spectrum. So Adachi Yumi is pretty much the pick for them, but like I've seen Yo Game Wizard play some sets 
recently, and they've actually been kind of dipping it old school. I've been seeing them pick Mitsuru use Riha a lot. So, really? like, I don't know if that's something that they plan to use in tournament, but or just like have it up uh, just in case. I can see them maybe picking it against like Hilda, like the Asafi, like Elon or something. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to note that. It might not always be Adachi Yumi from him. Yeah, I mean, Adachi Yumi, a pretty, pretty solid team anyway, though. I mean, you got the assist of Yumi being able to like convert from nearly everything there. And Adachi just has some mean counters and be able to like convert with like, like Zeodyne from clear across the board. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it, screen control is the name of the game for that Adachi Yumi comp. It's just, like, so nice. overbearing on, like, I've such a large majority news. of the cast. So you're going to be kind of seeing this cat and mouse game of, like, your game is going to be run away, try to get some Zeo sets up, you know, and just uh, lock down Scrub. And scrub, you know, his job to find a way in. Yep, there's that DP coming out, the counter coming out early here. Gets on, jumps, like, a forward on the other side, gets a little bit of a clip, and, the, like, switches out at there. Stuck in the corner here. Gets it. There is that grab. There, you're going to get the follow-up afterwards. There it is. Up. The expectations that you'll get with him when he's about finally got in, just not committed to anything crazy. That's unseeable! Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, it's talking about like come obscuring everything in the known galaxy. <laughs> And for those watching, if you want to find a way of like easily visually identifying when like a mix-up happens, look at the exclamation points. Yes. Like when a red one pops up, that means that they got hit overhead. When a yellow mm -hmm. one pops up, it means they got hit low. Right, right. And that that's and that's like if you're the player playing, that means you messed up. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I see now. I understand. <laughs> Going in aerial rave here, gets a setup, and they're going in, but just goes right in for the super afterwards. Gets out of the situation, oh a little bit of cut. Like a cut, but nothing much else on the damage. There's a really cheeky scenario though from Scrub calling that 6P alongside the Ruby assist in order to make it safe. They couldn't really find the full capitalization of it. Did not have burst available, so Yogi Mizu took advantage of the situation, took down the Ruby, we're on solo Ragna. All right, kind of, kind of going back in there. A little bit of a clash into the, cr the cross combo. Trying to make it into a sandwich here. Forcing it out, pushing out the far away, like sending out the zone there. Yeah, I'm really trying to close the distance. Only to hit the Persona, Ooh, did not hit Adachi with the blood side. But five to hit, this is massive, okay? This is not only a dead Yumi. Look at how much health my man is getting back. Oh yeah, like <laughs> all of this coming back. No more recoverable health for you. It's all health. It's all yours. Oh my gosh, JC, and it's just, what are you doing? Just <laughs> goes in resonance, finish. <laughs> That's a great story for Yo Game Scrub. Yes, what a clutch comeback there from Yo Fame Scrub with the solo Ragna. And you know, like, he and a couple of other players I know, when it comes to you killing their side characters, some people say mm -hmm. that's when you messed up. Oh, because, yeah, yeah. Like, that's hero energy, protagonist energy comes in there at that point. Absolutely. They just summon the Azura Grimoire right on their, you know, right hand and just use it to play on their arcade stick or hitbox or whatever it may be. Because it's just like, if you get touched, like, the amount of health he begins is just insane. Yeah, especially, oh yeah, get caught with his eagle, get the follow up, yeah, forcing the burst out of there, and the DP to get off of me. Okay, yeah, you see Yogi Wizard trying to slow this down, that screen control capabilities that this team has, just building up that wall, finds it with the 2 6 low. All right, catches on it, uh, surprise with the overhand on the arrow, we're following with the uh, from the Dachi, getting out a little bit out of the corner here, but you're still stuck <gasps> in the screen control, but no! Yikes, yeah, on that cross combat activation was caught black and with the whip the Dachi, but Scarf really couldn't capitalize as much as I think they would have liked. They're still back in the corner. This is a rough situation. Oh, Carnage Scissors? Oh, oh what happened? Tried, okay, Yo Game Wizard tried to go for the DP, and it actually, like, either clashed or missed there, and the like, guy actually got, like, got, like, uh, converted into damage there. Wow. I gotta imagine I was a miss put on a push block. That was very uncharacteristic. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, four sandwich, sneaky. Good block on Gauntlet Hades. Okay, we're dashing through that punch on the Dachi, you better believe it. No yeah. confirmation, but we're still on the prowl. Yeah, Ruby in control here, going all the way down here. Doesn't have any meter to, Well, has like plenty of meter to work with. Doesn't even need to use much of it. Oh, that was so sneaky, man. <laughs> and you got four bars? I don't know if we're killing here, but you're your fame stuff. You tell me. Yeah. Going in there. Has all the all everything to work with here. Just goes in. Gets one super down. Go get the follow-up. There it is. Ragna comes into play. Oh my god, the optimization. Beautiful stuff there from Yo Fame Scrub. This has been a really interesting match because I feel like it's a very seesaw of like big seesaw of momentum between these two players as they're going back and forth in neutral game. Mm -hmm. But Scrub just keeps edging it out, like right in the like close moment. Yeah, we're going back into the player select screen here. Character select trying to figure out. Adachi still in the play here. No, nope, just changing colors, just going back, re uh, re like realigning yourself, get those breaths in. Yeah, I saw I saw Yogan Wizard hovering over the Persona section. He, he did pause for a little bit on the Mitsuru section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm, I'm going back to Dachi Yumi. Just, just trying to 
you know, calm down. Because as I said, these have not been blowouts. Like, right. Yogi Blizzard is playing the matchup exactly the way that it needs to be played. It's just a couple of, like, mistakes here and there. Could easily be a reverse sweep if he's able to, like, push into the play. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to get on there. Uh, going into the cross combo immediately here. Raz is trying to true and beat the tag here. Oh, my gosh. That was an amazing defensive sequence there from Scrub. There was so much trickiness. He was just ready for all of it. Oh, what punish? Yep. yep. Don't get the follow-up. Yumi is for a world of hurt here. Into the corner we go here. Get the follow-up DP to get off and just get, try to get back into like some some screen control happening here. Dug it down. Surprise. Getting with the low. Yeah, absolutely necessary hit here for Yogi Game Wizard. Just kind of stabilize things as much as possible. Command throw in there. I'm going to go for safe jump. Okay, yep. Oh, going in like forces burst out of there. Ruby come out to play here. Like, try to reject guard on that, but I got hit a, like a little bit afterwards here. Uh, and look at Yogi Game movement. Oh, that was a clutch 4P call there from Yogi Game Wizard. I was going to just uh, uh, comment on Yogi Game movement and Ruby being all over across screen, but it looks like Yogi Game Wizard got a read on it. Okay, trying to go in and try to reach out for it. Try to get, get on the other side here. Suck in the corner, though. No grab for you, Ragnar. Okay, stuck here. Yeah, has the three bars available, so just optical for push block. Carnage Scissors did not keep it first safe on the punish, so Scrub will be able to bring in the Ruby. Yeah, stopping her in her tracks. Once we take down that Yumi, she's out safely. All right, throwing out the Zio down uh, Zio a little bit. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone, like, like it, you know, first hit. There, there it is. Yo, Game Wizard, get on, get it in there. A world of hurt happening. On the follow up, get that little bit of, like, wall carry in the follow up here. Oh, yeah, covering the tech, but so smart of Yo Game from the push block, the initial push of Yumi 5P. Got a block stun early and surprise Yo Game Wizard with the match. Earlier than expected, into the corner we go, finds the overhead, does not have a lot of meter to cash out here, and ends up dropping the combo in instead. All right, getting a little bit of health back on that from Ragnar, just a little, like, just catching on, catch it in the mid-air here, I thought you are going to follow it up here, Yo Game Wizard has a chance. Oh, you got to close that out right now, it wasn't enough, oh! so the Ruby comes in, you don't have bar, can you kill her? I don't think so. The 2v2 is maintained, her rampage time, passing through generating bar on both ends. You want a chaos, you got it, BB Tag Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Activated on that. Try to go for the overhead. Like, already standing up there. What a block. Scrub's defense on this game alone has been on another level. I can't believe how the mix has been blocking. 54 seconds long. The longest BB Tag match we've had in a, like since we began here. Cross combo style time. Oh, going in. He's trying to get that happy genius. birthday. Genius. But where's the combo? He gets two card and scissors. He could have kept them both. Yeah, doesn't get it converted on here. It's just. It's Ruby on the play. Yadachi, oh. no game with it. A chance. Yumi versus Ruby coming into play here. Goes ahead, activates Resonance here. Tries to go for the grab. Good tech. What is this match? Double Resonance activation. Trying to trip away with the EX Snowbridge. I'm tapping the toes. Please open up. Knock, knock. Yeah, oh, knock. There it is. The DP in there. Yo, <laughs> Game Wizard gets one on the board. Oh my gosh, Risky Sweep. What do you mean? This is only the second match of Top 16, bro. <laughs> oh, you, you, you know you know you like it like this. <laughs> Somebody please get me an inhaler, dog. I ain't going to survive. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> Man, the last sequence of that match was incredible. Scrub got the hit on the Yumi assist, mm -hmm. but recognized that the point character Dachi was blocking, so opted to go for an overhead reset while still maintaining the combo and had the happy birthday. He could have killed Yogi Wizard, but dropped the happy Let's birthday. Yogi Wizard forced a 1v1. I can't believe it, man. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, like I said, blink of an eye, and suddenly everything changes. Yeah. Like all the momentum, everything that you had in your in your favor just changes like that. Okay, oh, clutch, active switch, gonna be able to punish that first. The old face scrub. Yeah, get the follow-up in here, all the way down we go here. Nice little 6.4K here, tries to go over the overhead. Activate the cross combo here, gonna continue it out here, trying to push it away, but no can do. You gotta deal with this and get a little bit of quick, but nothing convert. Yeah, they were trying to bait out first. Oh my god, there's no <laughs> way that we took a plane for a five-hour flight to Orlando, Florida to steal some phones. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's up to Adachi. Yo, Game Wizard has, like, like holding on to it. Gets the clip, though. This is a really rough uh, scenario here for Adachi, right? Not really the best 1v2 character in the game, despite his prowess in the 2v2 game. Once you isolate him, his defensive options are pretty minimal. Gets hit by the buzzsaw, and this should be it. Yeah, just goes ahead, spins the bar, and that's going to be... Yo, Fave Scrub going to be moving on in the bracket on the winner's side. Yes, there could only be one tag that starts with Yo that moves to the top eight winners, and it's Yo, Fave Scrub in this instance, but... 
Oh, these sets, man, they're top eight level. Both of these two <laughs> yeah. competitors have made top eights and CEO talking to CEOs in the past. Just forced to push each other to the limit here. It was a very quality match. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, like, definitely, like, a lot of the... Uh, uh, early on, Yo, Yo Game Wizard was really trying to use that, like, like trying to be able to control as much as stream there. But like, Yo, Yo Game, uh, Yo, Yo Fave Scrub, just not gonna have any of it. Like, was able to get in there, especially with the Ragna damage coming into play. There was like doing a lot of good conversions with Ruby in there, but it was really the Ragna that was the MVP. Yeah, he is that type of player to where when it comes to like these screen control or slower play zoning type of play styles, mm -hmm. with a character like. Uh, you know, with a character even like a team top of like Ragnar Ruby, it's expected of you you're gonna have to like close the gap, close the distance. Like that is your job, but it's not an easy one, right? Yeah. And he just makes it look so seamless. His mobility and just overall cognition, how it works, and like his knowledge of the game just allows allows for him to like get in so effortlessly. So like it forces players like Yo Gamers to just like you know I'm expecting to just be able to zeal and snowboard you to death. You're just in here. I have to play a little bit more scrappy, and that's how we get like those crazy games that happen. But um, yeah, case in point, I know that like when Elon first uh, came over here, mm -hmm. he said the scariest player for him to play was Yo Fave Scrub. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely. He was just like, he's just like bodying me, like, basically. He's just, like <laughs> always in. I'm playing Hilda New 13. I have this phenomenal space control that makes everybody in Asia like cry. And like, I, I can't keep out the pro tag rag to the blood edge. What's yeah. happening? <laughs> and uh, didn't uh, Yo Fave Scrub go over to Japan and practice with a, with, well, a bunch of, bunch of them? Or? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was like uh, uh, Yofan Scrub and my Dante T in Monkey Forty Twelve that went to uh, KGP this year mm -hmm. um, to uh, play in the tournament, but also just get a uh, bunch of casuals with uh, some of the players there. Perfect segue into this match that we're happening. Uh, this happening right now, actually. It's going to be uh, Monkey Forty Twelve, who was a part of that uh, trip to Japan, okay. and uh, Elon from Korea. Okay, yeah. So uh, Elon definitely uh, has been at like several of these events in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, has made very strong presence here, especially in BB Tag. Um, and like and monkey, like I know uh, we were talking about prior to like almost unpredictable, like some of the teams that that, that will be be played. Yeah, I mean, like at, at this point, this deep in the bracket, uh, you should expect most likely Yumi Adachi, but it's gonna be on a match by match basis. He also has a Ruby. He also has a Susano. He also has a, a Hilda of his own. He has a Sus. He has so many other like pocket characters that could come out based on the situation at hand. That's what makes him such a phenomenal player, in my opinion. He's a student of the game in all senses of the word. When you, like, talk mm -hmm. to him, um, he's almost able to, like, play BB Tag in his head and let you know, like, what's going on from, like, a frame data perspective and, like, a macro perspective. It's a really interesting, like, look, outlook that he has on the game. Yeah, definitely intended BB Tag trigonometry. And, <laughs> right. And uh, got, got a, like, flying colors past the class, so. Exactly, exactly. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it looks like the buttons are checked. He's locked in a Dachi Ruby, right? It's not that a Dachi Yumi comp, so it's just uh, likely, you know, sticking to a Dachi because it is the uh, comfort pick, but having mm -hmm. Ruby as a matter of chasing down Hilda, I right. think is the reason for this pick. And this um, Elon also using the, uh, like, the new, like, uh, like uh, basically the trademark pick for Elon. Right? <laughs> the Hilda new coming into motion. New gets, like, no representation, or I would say no representation would work for him because there's just like not many players playing her nowadays, but he makes her look like such a menace. He's so good at the way that he plays. Oh yeah, but here we go. Already starting into the next match here. Can we get the follow-up? Immediate cross combo into the new here. Hilda catching on the point here. All right, yeah, Elon looking on fire here immediately. That was a pretty interesting conversion, forcing Musk into the corner. We can do this, that's what she says, is she right? Oh, happy birthday, can't stabilize it. This is still pretty good for Monkey. Yeah, a little bit of pause there, trying to bait out something. Not quite, though. It's already back at the cross combo, and you get clipped on that. Elon bringing out the new here, all the way back into the corner. We go here, and this is where, where kind of you can see, like, throwing out the blades. Ooh, oh, he got the first hit, no punish. Pretty big miss there for Elon, but has the life lead. You know, taking things nice and slow. Good DP versus yeah. Monkey. Yeah, that's one of those good things about Adachi's DP. Adachi's DP is a counter, which you know, like when you get activated, you get forced to roll. So you get a little bit of extra, like you can close the gap on that screen there, like, like that. Right. Okay, this is a really big find here from Monkey. Happy birthday situation. I don't think it'll be enough to kill Bilba. Yeah. yeah. No, back to control. All right, trying to get uh, out of the Zeodyne situation here. Gonna get the follow-up, and the already Hilda is down here, forcing the residents. Oh, that was so cheeky. What good navigation from Elon again, out of that corner, out of that different situation. But man, you have a tough task ahead of you. Yep. Especially with, like, like you know, Zeodyne coming out of there, last forever. You can do whatever you want on the screen. You can go to go through the wall, wall down the street. There it is. Okay, monkey. 
goes up game one. All right, and not a, uh, okay, baby character stuck. Hold on, uh, not to mention, Axie has some side characters of his own. So oh, it's not okay. just a Hilda New, there's also a Hilda Chie, a Hilda Akatsuki, as he sees fit based on a matchup by matchup basis. Mm -hmm. You know, I think for this type of playstyle, we should probably expect Hilda New the entire way out, but I've seen it, I've seen it. Yeah, like, pretty strong star for a monkey here, like, just being able to, to control that and like stop it. Like early on, Elon was getting a couple of like clips in there, especially again, the cross combos. Second verse, same as the first here, getting on the other side here. But it is Monkey going to get the adaption, going to get the hit. Oh man, I love the way Monkey played that, right? It was the same round start that we saw in game one. This time Monkey able to weasel out of there and turn a negative to a positive. Got him in some of their own. Has really chipped down this dude. You can tell that Elon wants to get her out of here as soon as possible. Gonna do so with this cross combo, I would imagine. Oh, and drop on the ender, but she's still out. Okay, already going in there, going to get the follow. It gets a little bit of a hit on on Hilda, but not as much as Elon was probably hope, uh, Monkey was probably hoping for there. Right. Hey, yeah, four damage situation. Good hang time there from Monkey, just to avoid seemingly everything. There was some ground coverage there from Elon. Okay. Okay. Yep. Riding down on the other side here, catches on that, and already going in. Yeah, a little bit of an acupuncture section for Adachi here. Gotta throw that one in the morning for sure. Oh, Snipe with the 2B, very awkward angle. Could not find the confirm, but Ruby gets clipped in the back. You gotta imagine that Elon wants to capitalize. Monkey trying to move him with the Adachi to save her life. And Adachi gets clipped in the process. Not the 1B2 here for Monkey. Right. Monkey trying to use a lot of that ability. Finally finds an opportunity to activate to Resonance here. Going to get that build up and regain a little bit of the health, but not enough time on that. That's all he did. Like, all he needed was a touch from Hilda, and that just ended that dream there. Is Elon with the solid response gonna be tying it up 1-1 here in a pretty significant fashion oh, okay like the first 15 seconds of that uh, match was looking very very rough for Elon mm -hmm. uh, monkey showing immediate adaptation to the round start uh, RPS situation that he was creating but we're just able to you know get back control of things and make it a uh, tight up set here all right here we go match three for the set here going to put it again a cross combo on monkey side here yeah, it seems like Elon is very persistent on making sure just the round start situation is set up. Thinks like he wasn't going to do it at first, and then just ends up doing a delay timing after Monkey already called for this, and be like, gotcha, it's still happening. All right, trying to switch it on the on the other side here. A little bit of like uh, Elon trying to keep it, keep this, and use that like the zoning ability of Hilda in here on the other side. Ooh. Oh my gosh, a 5 off of the distance. I'm not sure what that was for Monkey. Maybe a missed input, but it's going to be quick to a punish. That Adachi is bleeding. Yeah, goes in, gets a grab in there, get the follow up afterwards because you can like, like you like typically in BB tag, you get a grab, you get a combo off of anything. Oh, okay, yeah, five B lift off at the distance. It was very smart for Elon, honestly, to act this switch because Hilda might have been punishable there, so it's gonna be new that's taking most, most of the damage. All right, kind of keeping on switching over to Dodge, keeping it safe there. Gets the hit, the little clip on the Zio there, getting another conversion in there for Monkey. Going to plenty of damage on new here. Hey, dashing in, for sandwich situation. That was such a clutch push mouth for Monkey. Just a nullified sandwich. Oh, couldn't get the pickup off the new 5G. Hello, not finding the proper angles. All right. Yeah, so Monkey with the spike life lead, it's still 2v2 here at the end of the day, so it's go either way. Elon with plenty of meter, trying to spend some of it on push blocks, just get Monkey off of them. Yeah. Not really working out. Yeah, try to try to do a reject guard there, get the push, the push block on there, but like just not really get a whole lot off of that here. Most of it just kind of like pushing back, waiting for those opportunities here. Oh, Elon was trying to like continue firing to not only keep Ruby under pressure, but to check the Adachi that it got his cross comboed. But he was out of range for his 5D. So just whipped, he got whipped by Adachi. Yeah, and also was able to switch over to Ruby with more health in there. It didn't matter, just got the click in there, and Monkey's up too. Yes, you see a sigh of relief from Monkey and almost like a banging on the stick there from Elon. That was a pretty frustrating way for uh, you to go out because he had the right idea. It just ended up being a spacing issue. She, she, you know, Nu is such a specialist character that requires right. like such a, a vast knowledge of her tools and capabilities and her dead zones. And you know, Elon has that, but he couldn't execute in the motor. Yeah, no, especially like when I like, kind of deal with it, uh, um, like definitely Adachi, like in Ruby, you, right? you have a little bit of spacing you can do to kind of like trip it up here. But right now it is Elon going to get the damage in here. 
The fall, another overhead in there. A follow in, forcing the first out of there, but still gets a little bit of clip, but no conversion. Yeah, Elon having a lot of uh, the right idea. I can feel that Elon's getting a little bit overwhelmed, honestly. Like, usually there's such a pristine, precise player having all the necessary confirms in every given situation. But even the openings that they're getting here don't have that Elon finish that I expect uh, time and time again. All right, yep, uh, caught, got caught on there. You're going to continue the combo with Hilda here. Get the follow-up all the way to the corner. We go. Right, yeah, really trying to dig deep to see if Monkey will push block so he can get the TRM. Monkey is, if I know anything about Monkey, he's not going to push block unless you get <laughs> He's holding on to that bar. He believes in his defense. Yeah, no, definitely, like, especially, that's, that's a precious resource. The follow. Okay. Yeah, having to force the burst out of there. Uh, jumping all the way upon and throwing a little bit of Zeo. There it is. Yeah, this time able to stabilize the combos. The longer that this goes on, the better it is for Elon. He's just really kind of in his flow. This is the type of pacing that Elon wants to play at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely like was very much conducting orchestra there. Was actually was able to do kind of like again, you felt comfortable there. Like definitely like from the last game was like a little bit frustrated trying to get like uh, trying to get found it found that sweet spot there. Mm -hmm. So now we're two and two. Yes, absolutely. And we almost saw a flip of the emotions there on the camera. You see Monkey just like, you know, like trying to like really, you know, close out the set. Whereas Elon, it was the sigh of relief kind of hanging over just like I've won away. What was getting yet another top eight in this game? In Orlando, Florida, I've done it two times. Let me get a third. Yeah, like want to get all that way. And understandable here, like especially there is a desire to finish it. You want to see it. You want to feel that relief afterwards here. Yes. All right, here comes Monkey. Yeah, trying to play super pace, maybe get a throw bait. Oh, beautiful here, confirmed here for Monkey. More bars available, gotta be spinning it. That new will be bleeding. Okay, still on there. Try to go on it. Oh, good tag from L on here. Going to catch it, but you're on the other side. No real conversion. Ow! Oh my gosh, you gotta get her out of there. That's gonna be a free punish on the cross combo activation. Just unfortunate timing from L on. And now it's just a solo Hilda. Yeah, already activated L on. Oh, that's a lot of damage already. That was a messed up situation to be in there for Elon Monkey. Gonna be able to get a lot of the job done. Only a little bit remaining here. Elon has to fight for their life. Yeah, it's still in residence here. Goes in and activates it for the dodge. He says, hello! I can't let you get away from this. I need to move on into the next round. Monkey's gonna be moving on. There it is. Monkey 4012 qualifying for top eight winners side with the victory over Elon. Yeah, that's like one of the things we've been talking about. Like definitely, like Elon, like no surprise to like to being at this spot in here. But definitely, like a lot of the, a lot of the players just been like like been putting in the work, been experimenting with those teams and trying to make that make that happen. It's been amazing. Yes, absolutely. And those two have a storied history. I, I think they really wanted that top eight winners qualifier spot really bad. All players do, but yeah, uh, oh yeah. Their their context and reasons for why are very different, right? Elon. Had one CEO 2021, mm -hmm. uh, was in the top three finish for CEO Taku last year. They want that repeat victory. They want that uh, comfort level of like, yeah, I'm back in winter side here in Orlando. I'm still, I still got it. Like, I don't want to go to losers necessarily. I know it's stacked. I want to make a statement. Yeah. Right. Uh, Monkey on the other end of the spectrum, they got top three at CEO 2021. Uh, I think they finished ninth last year for CEO Taku. I believe so. Ninth or 13th, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It was after a loss to Hashimo. So it's just like, you know, trying to prove like, yo, don't sleep on me. I know I've been on like Street Fighter 6 a little bit lately, but I, yeah. I still. <laughs> Got it. I'm still him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's like so let's say, oh, you look. Everybody's going on Street Fighter Six. We all know. We yeah. all know that. It's like, but look, I still have this. I can turn the dial any time I please. Yes, yes. And beating a player on the caliber of Elon is definitely a, a way to make a statement. That was mm -hmm. the, uh, just banger after banger after banger. These sets, the BB tag. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like um like a lot of the movement that it was like you saw at the end there with the dachi mm -hmm. being able to go like being able to like I've never seen a dachi fly as high as I have in that match. Honestly, it right? feels like. Being able to, like, like, well above, like, where Hilda was, so. Yeah, Hilda's the type of matchup that forces it out of you no matter what character you're on. You know, Adachi has that screen control, but Hilda is just, like, simply I'm, I'm just better at it. Yeah, yeah it's I was like, I'm in the air. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, yeah, so sometimes he forces, like, a scrappy nature, so that's, mm -hmm. you know, what led to Adachi kind of fly sky high and get that JA out there, so. Um, ooh, is this what I think it is? Uh, I think it's time. Uh -oh. I think it is. This is a match I've been very excited to see, actually, yes. so. Um, I know uh, both Razo, I think Chop Suey, like, they were both in top eight for Combo Breaker this year. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Um, and so we're going to see, like, uh, potentially see, um, probably from Chop Suey, the Izayoi uh, Chiai pick. Uh, definitely a lot of, uh, a, a lot of interesting, uh, like, 
dash options with Izayoi, followed by just the extreme pressure of Chie there. And then, of course, you got Yang Carmine, potentially, from Razo. Yeah, Razo, I mean, she is a BB type veteran. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, opting for that Yang Carmine nowadays, like every now and then, will pull out the Hawkman Makaba. Mm -hmm. uh, was just victorious uh, at Evo uh, yeah, last that's right. month. So, repeat champion there. Got the victory last year. So, it's just like, it, anytime, I'm on, anytime I'm on commentary and Razo is like playing, I always bigger her up. Because, like, no stranger, Razo is like top level strive player. Yeah. Obviously, really focused on that game, but when BB Tag is available, still coming out, showing up, and showing support. She put in the work. Yeah, that she still got it. Like, yeah. it's like really amazing to still watch her play to this day. But um, yeah, other end, Chop Suey. Very, very specialist type of play style. Like, mm -hmm. his easy yoy is just so crazy, as you were mentioning the mobility. Uh, definitely a master of that. But. Um, in the grand scheme of easy way teams, he plays a very uh, unorthodox one. Right, like, right. Like uh, he kind of like showcases the synergy within the team, like in himself. But like it's not, it's something out of the box. Not anything that's seen any other easy way play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's one of those like I really enjoy watching Chop Suey's play of this team because it's just uh, again like you see a lot of like change up on the dash, like kind of like surprising, like, switching over to the other side. But you also see like stuff like Chie throwing down the meteors from high and like kind of like doing a little bit of sleight of hand in there to get like get it like to form a deception, get the damage in there. I love that you use the word deception. I think that's a really big asset of a Chop Suey's game, whether it's the mobility with his joy or uh, the mix up that they end up creating with the team. All right, immediately getting the start on here. Yang out to play here. Carmine following up with the assist in there. And all the way to the corner, get the burst out pretty early on here. Yeah, and these are also two teams that have the added luxury of, like, if you make a mistake, they can both just kind of murder you. In different <laughs> yeah. ways, because Chie, you know, with the power charge setup, can literally TOD you. Yes. Uh, Razo, a little bit uh, indirect in the way that it's done. This team has access to unblockable loops. Being Carmine, so. <laughs> yeah, no, you've got, you, like, throwing you in the crystal. Get that charge up in there, follow up. Oh, catches on it, get the DP. Oh my gosh, I love that tap uh, on the assist, but just the uh, easy way action switch, able to cover everything down. Top two can't quite find the kill. There it is. I love that action switch. Yeah. IPB, it's so easy. Get on switch. Oh, yeah, get the follow up. A little bit of a happy birthday, one above, one below. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Russell just held forward. <laughs> what what, just, just what ran. is the confidence? <laughs> Going to get a follow up. Uh, uh, Chop Suey getting, having a chance here. Has the meter to make it happen here. Goes into the cross combo. There it is. All right. Chop Suey going up game one. Another interesting thing to note here I don't know how many matches that these two have together lately, right? Uh, Chop, Chop Suey is a, a frequent participant of some of the online tournaments that are happening nowadays. Like, mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of like constantly grinding the game. Uh, Razo, not so much. Like, every once in a blue moon, maybe like. Once every six months, Razo does an online bracket, but right. not very common. So, like, it, within like the past couple, like the past year and a half, I don't think they still have played a lot. No, I, I think especially with like what like uh, like other games coming, out, uh, uh, like being focused on on that. But like Razo, still no trigger, still able to get to this spot here. Hey. Oh my gosh, Yang swinging all over the place. Just can't quite make sense of the chaos. You see Yang sharking underneath, constantly pushing the issue with those two Bs. Eventually one of them will hit. Oh yeah, catches on it. That's super, very active. There's uh, catching on there, going ahead and like throwing out the pool, uh, pool of blood here. Get the follow up here. Yeah, top three. Forced to bring in the Chie to save Ichiro's life, maintain the shell, but Ross is going to take that. So Look. much health coming back too. Exactly. Persona. Yeah. Sending out the Persona, trying to like kind of switch up the mobility here, if, like with Chie, especially. Just going around. But you get caught by by the Carmine traps here. Yeah, I think the intention for Chop Chewie is to try to slow things down uh, in order to let you do a heal so that their team can be maintained a little bit longer. Found a clutch. Yeah, you remember what I said about yeah. like. Uh, That's a level team. three. That's a. <laughs> boom! <laughs> boom! Both teams, if you make a mistake and I have the resources, I could just simply kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, switches over, gets a change in, gets that extra little bit of damage, and they're, they are two up over Razo. Yes, there it is. Chop Suey. Looking good, looking good. We are going to character select, so Razo maybe investing in something else here. Highlighting the Merkava. Are we okay. going Merkava Hawk? That's probably the very likely pick. I've seen, uh, usually it's like Merkava Hawkman. I've seen uh, I've seen the nine pick come out a couple of times. Yeah. Not lately, but that's a possibility. But we do have Merkava Hawkman, big boy. 
right. Big boy time. And just with the uh, type of decisions that I've noticed uh, Raza was making with Yang, I can tell she's getting really frustrated with the neutral pacing of this game. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Izuyue and Chie both have the benefit of being able to stall in the air a lot. Like, Izuyue just through a natural mobility and her Sonic Sabers, uh, Chie in the form of JC and Meteors. And so, like, Raza was just constantly trying to get these things, like, 2B, right. 2B, please, like, please get down from there. But nothing, yeah. like, really made the statement that she was looking for. Like you point out, with just running forward, just the hope, like, you're, like, running in like a bulldozer. Now you got two characters that can hit pretty much anywhere on the screen if they so desire. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully it works out. Uh, kind of tasked with a rough, uh, you know, job to try to reverse the top three. Okay. Is Aoi Chopsui going to get a couple of little damage here? Got on the other side here. Stuff into the cross combo sandwich time. Okay, clutch first opportunity here for Razo. So I gotta imagine that she's going to want to slow things down. Oh my god, the backwards hitbox kept it safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't get a conversion on the damage there here for it, but Chopsui's still going to get plenty of it here. Oh boy, and deception. The reset. You said the keyword deception. That's one of those deceptive mixes right there. Chopsui does this so much. They'll kill you with neutral in the first two games, and then when they're on game three, they pull out all the tricks. All right. They were like, <laughs> at that point, it's like, it's like, okay, it's time for party a little bit. Yes. Okay, I, uh, interesting injury there with Jason to make all the contact, but Chopsui still has, has such a huge life lead. It's just like, what do you do at this point? Yep, you, uh, Get the follow up here. Just going to like bring out the hand of God. They are changing over here. It's up to Merkava now. Yeah, this is. Rosa just has not been able to find the answers to solve for Chop Suey, to solve for the type of playstyle that he brings to the table. And I, I understand it's one of a kind. Yeah, Chop Suey, like, kind of like. Being able to play the game at their own tempo here, just like forcing on there, does get the conversion they were looking for, but he still needs one more hit there. Oh, okay, forced air unblockable. And oh, that was mm. such a good anti on flight. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's going. We are very serious about that. Going to get the follow up, and that is it. Solid stuff from Chop Suey, man. He's he's one of the best, right? Yeah. It's just like really a product of this uh, online era because. Oh, I mean, something worth mentioning, not at last CEO talk, but at CEO 2021, that was a, the one that announced uh, Rollback Necro. Right, right, right yeah. <laughs> big deal. Just a little bit of a big deal. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty big deal for the scene, but, like, uh, you know, some of the big benefits of that is that players like Chop 2 were able to kind of be molded by that Netplay era. Even Absolutely. More because he, he does kind of come from that uh, post 2.0 patch uh, era of the game, like, grinding on the delay base. But Rollback allowed for him to, like, really refine and show people how good he is. And so, like, before we even saw him in the offline set, he was just like, oh, this Chop Suey guy is, like, kind of ridiculous. And now he's been really able to blossom with these multiple top league showings. Yeah, especially being able to just come out to the to the majors and where BB Tag still happening, still strong out there, mm -hmm. and being able to show off that work, it's just been a very exciting to see. So really, really good stuff for Chop Suey. Yes, definitely, definitely. And I mean, with that, you know, top eight winners, we will be uh, seeing them a bit later, joining the likes mm -hmm. of uh, all the previous winners that we had here. But we're still just a top six team. We got to go down to the loser side now, see so who's going to be able to claw their way over into that top eight, showing that we'll be having tomorrow. Yeah, there's um, like they're still like going down the list here. Like, uh, I mean, you could see like the, the amount of matches that we've already had so far, and like just kind of looking through there. I know like we saw Elon earlier here. Who do we have on the loser side so far? Sure. So uh, the bracket has updated here. Um, I don't. Uh, it looks like we have Midori and Teruto, potentially. Okay. Um, EX Zio and Sykes. Uh, Nanashi and... Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Nanashi and Hashimo. Oh, no! For the Japan team kill. That is so unfortunate. I think this is like... Nan Nanashi is like one of their first like out of country events. It's so, oh like, no, that's, having that's to the, like fight Hashimo really sucks, man. That is, <laughs> that, that's a hard feeling, especially you come out all the way here and you fight you fight someone that you you have a lot of familiarity with at that point. So. Yeah, it is what it is. And then like uh, last one here is Zero Shadow Blood versus Master Chief. Okay. So yeah, like kind of a plenty of like plenty of stuff here. One thing I've been like, we have had a, like a wide variety of teams already, and that's uh, um, early on, especially when that 2.0 patch came out. I think they like everyone was playing Yumi, everyone was playing Adachi, everyone was like figuring out how to make that work. But we're seeing a lot of just unique teams and a lot of unique setups in there. Right, right. Everyone just has their own kind of defined style when it comes to this game, and I, this game really does allow for like your creativity to just really blossom, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, I'm gonna tell like a little bit of uh, off story here of two high level BB type players that are not in this top 16 <laughs> because it's just that freaking stacked. But I was talking to a uh, Yui, if you're familiar with Yui, mm -hmm. a Dachi Chie player who uh, got type, top 8 a combo breaker, and she was just like, I thought Four Sword Kirby, like, what the hell is going on? Like, <laughs> Four Sword Kirby is a Taker Yukiko player, um, and Ooh. like, she. 
like, awesome. And you, just like <laughs> and you never see Taker. You never see Taker out yeah, there. Yeah, or Yukiko. Like, yeah. it's just two, like, bottom, like, pretty much bottom tier characters being used in tandem. And, like, the synergy shouldn't even be there. But it's just like, yeah, we're making a record 2023. Play who you like. Like, yep. it allows for that type of creativity to flourish. Yeah, definitely. I see a lot of that happening in the, uh, the shout out to the Zone Breakers, writing a bunch of online and offline offline events in the Georgia area. I see, like, Gerard, like, playing a lot of unique teams, especially with Waldstein. Usually, usually with Waldstein in there somewhere. Yeah. So it's uh, it's exciting to see on that. But it looks like we are going to get that Hashimo and Nanashi matchup. Yes, here we go. Hashimo in that Orie cosplay. I got to imagine what they're looking for is, you know, pull up with the Orie cosplay today, save the Weiss gaming for tomorrow. Yeah. You, see the Weiss, <laughs> you see me in the Weiss cosplay when I'm in top eight. Yeah, like that's just like I was like, okay, I see, I see where the like where the pref like preference of character is, so. right? Yeah, so it looks like they're checking buttons. Okay, so Nanashi, right? Mm -hmm. Um, if you're like a BB tag nerd, you might be familiar with this player. Uh, they play Hyde Lene. Okay, right? Under, uh, team Undernight. Yeah, Team Undernight. They are. <laughs> I was watching them play today, and they're set against the Razo, and I was just like. Dude, this guy is such a nerd. Like, his, like, setups and uh, efficiency on his routing and just, like, all this stuff is, like, one just stuff that you, like, don't see. He has so much stuff mapped out. He knows what he wants to route into. He knows how you want to escape the situation if you want to burst or push block. And he already has the layer two ready to go, converting into, like, 8K meters. I'm like, yeah. What what's with this guy? Like I he's mean, so excited to watch. Yeah, no, it's um, <laughs> you're you're about to see it. Uh, like uh, out there, I was also watching that match as well. Mm -hmm. And one thing about it, like you know, Hyde definitely has like the projectiles, of, like long reach of the sword in there. Was able to make the conversion. Lene with the fast motions in there, being able to just go wherever you need to be on the screen at that point. And like com combined together, yeah, you see like talking about that uh, the baby tag trigonometry happening there. <laughs> exactly. There there are some tactics though that I noticed from uh, Nanashi that I'm curious about how they'll play into within this matchup. You know, not to mention, I'm sure these two have like hundreds of games against each other. Mm -hmm. But um, one tactic that I see Nanashi use quite a bit within his racket run, he'll like use Lene's triple jump to like top to, you know, jump to the side of the screen, bait you to come in and then JC dive kick and call hide 5 P to like oh. force a sandwich situation. I imagine that's gonna be harder to do against sword characters because you know they just have like <laughs> this joint, they're gonna be like Lene, like what get out of here, like get back down to the ground with us. So like I don't know if that's a strategy that we'll see, but it's something I'm gonna be keeping my eye on. The airborne play of Lene. Yeah, especially when you see like players who have probably fought each other quite a bit, you're gonna see probably things that only work on that player. Right. They're gonna be trying together. Instant burst here from Nanashi. Hashimoto keeping it first safe into the corner. We go with that. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be a safe jump. It ended up being the throw. <laughs> As yeah. throw into the co like corner, into the combo conversion here. Going in. Can you push back? But Weiss is still out there. Now you got a little bit of a sandwich situation. Okay. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, with the airborne game, there's like, so many no fly zones being established, but it's like Y5A, Orie JA, like Nanashi can't move. Mobility is such a huge part of his gameplay. Okay, right. on, on there, both players, uh, both characters are in play. Surprised with the overhead in there. Going to get the follow up, and that's all you need to bring one character down. Hyde is the only one on Na Nanashi's side. Such a Hashimoto dominant round for us to start out here. We're gonna run up with the residents to see the pop by the cross up. This should be it. You know I got the land campers on deck. I'm one of the cleanest to ever do it. Hashimoto, game one. Yeah, and you were talking about the swords. Like it's like, hey, you know what? I got a little extra reach there. I just like come like come down. Like I will handle the situation. I will set the tempo. Right? And I mean like. Uh, to be fair, every character in this match has swords. Yeah, but it's yeah, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. These are pointy. These are very pointy swords. <laughs> so pointy, they draw blood. <laughs> Ow, they poke. <laughs> yes, but it's just like the, the way that they're used. You know, you have these skewers over here with yeah. like Weiss and Ori just covering like you know various parts of the screen, making it very hard to move. And then Nanashi, you know, needing to eventually find a way in. You see that more airborne the name playstyle style coming up with the sky fang, forcing the burst out of Hasmo. Uh, kind of going in there, forcing the way on there. Already jumping up to get out of the way. Sets back into the neutral territory. Okay. Low. Love the routing here for Nanashi. Oh, those, that was so sneaky. He faked like he was going to cross with JC and landed in the front. <laughs> right. Kind of got everything in there. Oh, blocks of DP. Opportunity City for Nanashi. All right. Definitely a confident build here for Nanashi. That's the proper routing. Yeah, go stop. Guess what I'm talking about, bro. He does the same mix up, and you're like, okay, I'm ready. And he's like, oh, okay, you're ready? By the way, this is a fuzzy. Yeah, he's like, no, you're not ready. Let me remind you how not ready you are. Down, back down to Orie on Hash uh, Hashimo's side. Yeah, it's just like, 
Spongy into kill, just Manashi, guys. I love him, okay? <laughs> Five teams, after that resonance, Hashimo wants to try to make his comeback. Let's try to isolate the hide, you know, take down this uh, pretty low Lene. Yeah. Stuck with a uh, level three resonance here of like trying to build up a little bit of the meter. Does get all the health back in here, holding back here. Still have to deal with and hold back on these projectiles here. Finally finds the mark in here, just goes ahead and uses it with 25 on the clock. Yeah, I mean, so the good news is they were able to, you know, activate the resonance and find a hit with it. The bad news is, like, they don't have resonance as a matter of comeback, and they didn't really do a lot of damage to the Nasu team overall. So, like, this 2v1 is, like, extremely hard for Hashimoto to fight out of at this point. Right. Does get the grab on there. Going no no follow-up! That's unfortunate. That was a massive opportunity, you know, getting that throw. Nanashi had Jesse's cross combo, so they didn't have access to burst. Hashimoto could have done whatever they wanted, but, you know, the tournament nerves just kind of getting a hold of them. They were kind of tied up on one. I'm sure there's a lot of emotions on the line for both players here. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Um, and once again, we are on now on the loser side of the bracket here. One of the, one of these two is going to go sit into the spectator's bracket afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, they have to uh, form the JP uh, cheer squad for each mm -hmm. other, so. Oh, man. But I love seeing that adaptation from Nanashi. You know, the first one was very one-sided. They were just unfazed when it came to And yep. so really able to showcase what makes them unique as players. Yeah, definitely going in for, like, uh, kind of like with the mix-ups, like doing the fuzzy setups on that. On the, here, getting a little bit of trade there. Surprise from Orie. Hashimo taking advantage of it. Oh, okay. Hashimo's like, yo, I got fudges of my own player. Don't you ever forget. Yeah, setting up the glyphs, going to get the follow-up here. Just going to keep you up in the air, play a little bit of a, like, air ball there. All right, slow running up, trying to clip out of the sky. Hashimo being very defensive, very patient. Yeah, got a push block, but not quite on that. Going to get a follow surprise on that. A little bit more forcing of the first on there, and does get the throw in there to go, like, get back out of the corner. Ooh, okay, yeah, wasn't able to keep it first stage. You can see Hashimo very hungry to take down this hive. Recognizes there is potential making it the 2v1. Nanashi fighting for their life, but not eager to tag. Oh, there it is. Woo! I suppose sticks it out. And then every time I see like the like the Aurier dash into that follow-up, it goes so far. It goes yes. way farther than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> now she's just across the screen at lightning speed. Okay, there it is. DT, Nanashi baits it out. Ooh. Can't find the punish. No, the normal's not long enough. Okay. Dog in there, goes ahead and tries to dash in. Go, no, no dive kick for you here. <gasps> oh, <laughs> felt like it like just was in the perfect position to get the block in there. Going to get a little bit of a punish here for Lene. Yeah, it's just similar to the last round. Right? Oh my God! If he wanted to hit him from that to a super, that could have been massive. Unfortunately, couldn't do it. So they are in the situation where Hashimoto was in last round, right? I used resonance. I got some mileage, but your team is still perfectly attacked. I, I really gotta like. You know, fight for my life in this instance. Look at like Hotspot, they have the killing blow. No. No, the DP out of there has a little bit of meter to work with here, but like still have to hold it out. Oh Wait out the DP though! Nanashi is so sick! <laughs> <laughs> like I I like I would I thought I would have been for sure it's like that DP's gonna hit. Like no, just like very aerial control from Manachi. Yo, when my girl says sky thing, she means it. I'm saying yeah. to the skies, I'll make the DP, but Hashimo. Able to pull the trigger, find the mark. That 2360 EX thrust lunge will be able to take it out. A L little bit of celebratory excitement from Hashimo there. Felt very good about that here. And just like, once again, we're going back into it, trying to look to finish it out as soon as possible. Yes. Move on in the bracket. Yes, 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 yes. Hashimo. Wanting to get yet another top eight to add to their record. But Nanashi. Definitely not going out without a fight, man. I'm impressed that even within these one v two scenarios, some of the plays that they're making start another level. Okay, gotta get a switch on there. Was able to recover just in time here. Okay. Yeah, not getting any, uh, you know, hit damage done, but at least chipping away with those high normals. Okay, switching over on the on the crossover. A little bit of a hit, but not quite enough. Had to like go force to go away here. Beautiful. Air to air couldn't get the full confirmation, but still gonna be able to find the throw. Nanashi holding on to that burst for now. I noticed that's something that they do quite a bit. Commits to that DP. This should be fatal. No! Oh. The drop combo! There's a chance! Yeah, Hashimo tried to go for the reset there. Got a tech in there, but like, just follow. Follow. Does get the switch over to high, but taking a lot of damage for it here. Okay. Yeah, does not spin the two. Oh, gets the throw bait. There's so many mix-ups, so many hits. It's gonna be a dead hide ages ago, but Renashi just still can't find a way out, so it works out. Hashimo. Yeah, won the battle, but not the war. They're like, Orie was Hashimo's main character there, got in the punishment, and you're stuck with only Lene on the Nashi side. 
Uh, we almost saw them outplay this previously. This time it looks like Hashimoto will be able to seal the deal. A 3-1 victory over Nanashi. Nothing but respect between these two players, but it's Orie Gaming yeah. waiting on within this top 16 for now. Yeah, definitely like felt elated there. We're just like, re like we're just very excited about that victory there all the way through. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, like, uh, another thing is that, like, uh, ha Hashimoto has kind of been one of the... Uh, Hashimoto's English is, like, really good. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they, they've been one of the main people that have been kind of uh, giving us information about JP's style of play and, like, JP's mm -hmm. strength of play. And he's just like, dude, Nanashi is, like, really scary. <laughs> so, yeah. like, uh, get, getting that win, I definitely feel like Hashimoto going into it, uh, you know, felt confident in their play, but recognized situation of just, like, I know what this guy is capable of better than anyone in this room. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, this is, like... <laughs> Really excited for me to be able to take the set in this way. Yeah, it's one of those things where you just like it's like when you fought a person enough, there you're like you're trying to you're trying to beat the player more than like the setups and everything about it, and you know like what the ability there. We I'm, the only thing I'm really like like the thing I'm especially sad about that was a loser side match, and we're not going to be able to see any more Nanashi on here because I was just like really happy to see all the trajectory changes and whatnot, being able to get as close as possible there with the Lene. Yeah, it's such a rare player to see. I, like I said. I, I don't recall Nanashi traveling too much to much Tag events offline. This may be like, be like his first time in the States. Um, so, you know, unfortunately that we don't see the, uh, get to see him go further. Uh, but BB Tag community, like keep an eye out for like your community leaders. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people pulled up with like, I'm talking capture cards, tripods, oh, yeah. uh, phones. Like there was a lot went, of pool play recording. I went all the way out there and I saw like a whole row of uh, people just recording matches. And that's what I want to see when I come out to these events. We can't, I know we can't have every match on stream here. I wish we could, I really do. But the fact that we can't and everyone's up and ready, like we got to show as much footage as we can for this game that we love so very much here. It's just exciting to see, it's, it's, uh, it, it warms my heart. Yeah, absolutely. So, shout out to everybody that did pull up in order to uh, make that happen so we get more off stream matches stream but um yeah looks like we are going to be going over to another loser side set this will be zero shadow blood versus master cheap okay so yeah last uh, like zero shadow blood was last year's winner for ceo taku 2022 right yeah so they're looking to get the uh repeat championship here uh, here at CEO Taku, and I mean, as, as I said earlier, you know, drop the losers by Rodan. I didn't see the match. Like, there, there was just, like, so many, like, off-screen matches that just kind of, like, like happened, and you hear about the result, and you're like, what? Like, it just happened under the radar, like, out of nowhere. But um, they are definitely, like, you know, top of their game when it comes to BB Tag. You know, they play mainly Yumi Susano. Um, I know that they also play Carmine Yang, if I'm not mistaken, and, you know, offense is, like, the... The name of their game when they get it started, but they also tend to be like extremely patient and reserved. Um, also, a player of the mindset of not spending a lot of push block uh, in order to like escape mix. They'll just kind of hold it uh, a lot of the time more often than not based on their confidence. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm interested to see how this goes because like uh, I don't think these players have played each other in at least two years, maybe more. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like Master Chief. Uh, when you're looking at like like previous matches online, uh, like a lot of them were from like 2021 and such, and so it just like. Uh, it's not like a definite, it's only a big old recent thing, especially coming out to uh, like you only only to certain tournaments and whatnot. So like see Otako being one of them. Right. No, he's he's a busy guy. Um, not only is he like a community leader for BB Tie, but he also mm -hmm. works on like some Street Fighter 6 CPT stuff. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Yeah, behind the scenes. So he's like um, you know, do doesn't always have like the time to like come out to one of these. So I'm super excited that he's able to come out here to see Otaku because like when it comes to cheap, I feel like a lot of people forget, like, you know, just because he has a T.O. role, he's actually cracked at this game. Oh, yeah, he's no. He's so like, good. And this is, <laughs> I love these events because that means, like, the T.O.s can come out and, like, break off the limiters. Right? right? Now. Like, <laughs> I've got this Ragna Mika team. You got to see it. Yes. See, if Zero Shadow Blood is ready to see it as we go into this game one. Oh, yep. Six piece snipes. Yeah, this, oh. is, this is one of those teams that could just, like, Zero Shadow Blood team just could do crank out the damage all the way through. Yeah, you don't want to be caught making a mistake. Beautiful defense on the Gauntlet Hades. Block the first hit, duck the second. Textbook. Okay, kind of keeping away on the bay here. Just, just slightly out of sight of range here. Get the on the follow up here. Like both, like really good blocking from Zero Shadow Blood. Does get hit, but the combo oh, forcing, forcing the burst out from Zero Shadow Blood. There it is. Yeah, that 5 GB making contact with the Susano. Kept it uh, first punishable with the Ragna 5 P as well. This is a pretty unorthodox team. Like, Chief has been working on it for like the past uh, year or so. Um, but I don't think anybody else plays it. It's like a, a Master Chief specialty. Yeah, yeah. You don't see a lot of uh, Mika play, like, both in Under Knight and BB Tag, really. So. Right. 
Trying to keep it up, trying to like throw out the partner assist here. Oh. Catches <laughs> on the low there. Good opportunity for Zero Shadow Blood to bring it down all the way to the corner. Like tries to go in for the reset, no can do. Yeah. Uh, man, yeah, Master Chief is playing this extremely slow, and I know that's what they're doing. They're just like challenging with these pretty safe B normals, whether it be like 5 EB or uh, JB, and they're looking for Yumi 6P to try to like EX to this missile in there, because it's projectile as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, Mika low enough, forced to tag in the Ragnar, so that strategy won't be available any longer. It's kind of on Chief to make a move here, Zero Shot of Blood with the life lead. We may be going to the Rampage time if nothing significant happens in these next like, opening seconds. Okay, trying to catch it on there. Like, forces Master Chief into the sandwich here. Get forward, pushes off on the Suzano, but still gets hit by the Yumi there, going to get full advantage of it. And the surprise, surprise, getting on the round and forcing the first, but baits it out there, and Mika's the one going down. Ragnar still has to deal with this afterwards. There it is. Yeah, a series of great decision making there from Zero Shadow Blood on the offense. Able to finally open up Master Chief for some mistakes, for some bursts. It is the Ragnar that is activated, though. You cannot make any mistakes if I get a full health bar back with the defense of Chief here thus far. Okay, yeah, going and throw, thrown in there. Just like, it's like, I, I, I can just deal with whatever you have here. Just like build up, like finish off that resonance at the very last moment. It does get the hit on there, goes the conversion, and that's going to be one for Zero Shadow Blood. Zero Shadow Blood played that excellently. You know, just kind of like sitting on the life lead, recognizing the situation at hand and not getting too hasty. Just, you know, relied on the very safe Yumi 6 speed call. Sometimes with Susano, literally just running to the other side of the screen. It's just like, I'm not going to engage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to force you to get in and just sit on my life lead. And there was, um like you, you were saying early on, Master Chief was trying to, uh, was like very, very uh, conservative on that. Was like kind of holding back, trying to see what would happen there. And, and Zero Shadow Blood's like, yeah, I know. I, I know, like you, you, like trying to like try to guess how this is going to you know, play and I'm going to take full advantage of it. Right, yeah, yeah. It's that in the moment decision making, the adaptation is definitely what says, separates the good from the great, you know, because you could adapt after a match, but if you could adapt mid-match, it's, you know, insane. Yes. All right, catches on it. You got a, yeah, a little bit of the Susan O'Car. Follow up. Significant here for Zero Shadow Blood. Lockdown in the corner does find the God Press, gonna instantly go into that super to make it first safe or uh, unversatile. Yeah, catches up. Uh, Master Chief still stuck in this corner. Pushes back just to switch out to Ragna. Oh wow, got the counter hit confirmed with the Gauntlet Hades. They were looking for a mix up, but I'm sure they'll take that confirmed. Ooh, okay, late hit confirmed off the counter hit. Boot, looking for the throw, looking for anything. Zero Shadow Blood's out of there. Force is a sandwich. Okay, trying to like get on the back on on the back there. Force out of the corner, but it, like was able to recover, but unfortunately still have to deal with the mix up here. Right, yeah, just jumping over. It is. I mean, they're basically even. She has like uh, maybe no. There's definitely zero shot about the life lead now. Based off that five B confirmation, gonna be carrying over to the corner. Plenty of bar available, so yeah, cheat cannot burst. There's just gonna be options to let the random go down actually. Yeah, going in, yeah, the, there it is now, like, Yumi Tornado to sign the deal there. Ooh, okay, yeah, for now, Chief does have the push block. They're going to activate the resonance just to, you know, waste the clock a little bit more on this cross combo gauge, but it does not matter. Zero Shadow Blood able to find not yet a fatal hit, but a significant one, the six-piece snipe to lock it down. Zero Shadow Blood. Yeah, and no, I like that's one of those uh, those assists that I forget about. Like even from a far distance, like Susano can strike you down like that. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely so kind of so confident here, going up two games to zero. Master Chief taking some time, and like I understand why they picked Ragnamika here. It's an asset of like having the EX Mika missile to go through the Yumi six piece snowbird assist, to go through the Susano six piece snipe uh, on activation, so you could just like really kind of throw off real Shadow Blood's approach to the game. Mm -hmm. But the issue with that was like with the way that Shadow Blood adapted, it just like was not really paying off. So they're going back to what I would consider their main team, the Ragna Akihiko, okay. to rely on that for the reverse sweep. So uh, Akihiko is one of those characters that, especially like at the beginning of 2.0, you saw like a tremendous ups to uptick and just because of the raw damage this character can do. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, like, uh, yeah, you, you saw him quite a bit of 2.0. Even, like, in the previous version, 1.5, uh, mm -hmm. he had some funny stuff going on. That's when Mitsuru was, like, at her peak. Yeah. And so, like, that Mitsuru <laughs> Akihiko comp was, like, everywhere, man. You, you think Yumi Adachi is bad. Mitsuru Akihiko back in the day was... I oh, mean, yeah. I liked it. I played Mitsuru. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> and, like, you know, Punch is good. Like, has a little, like, pretty decent mobility in there. And, like, this team can, can do the work. Yes. Here we go, Zero Shadow Blood in the driver's seat here at the moment. The Master Chief activated here with his Aki Eagle. See if they can do the unthinkable. 
Yeah, sending out the like Yakihiko partner assist. And but into the, the cross combo. We go here. Let me get the follow up. Oh, what in the world was that? That was weird. JP with the Yumi 60 on the side, trying to keep it burst safe. Cheap does not budge, but just ends up sitting there, liable to get thrown. That Ragnar is so low. This is like cheap, like, you know, showcase character here. If he has to fight 2v1, he wants to do it with Ragnar. He doesn't want to do it with Akihiko, yeah. so. Does get the switch out to Akihiko, but unfortunately gets punished for it. And now suddenly, like, where Akihiko was at full life bar is already at half. Yeah, this is rough here for Cheap, man. Double overhead there from Zero. Bring up the pressure. Beautiful throw tech. Yeah, one thing, Zero, Zero Shadow Blood has just been on point with all these techs in there, like in the like in there try, trying to get like switch it up. Yeah, I winced a little bit because Cheap, you know, found himself in the corner unexpectedly, trying to maneuver out of there, but Zero Shadow Blood had to beat on that. It's just like, oh, you have to get out of this corner. I'm gonna chase you down. Set up the sound situation and Chief just kind of getting whittled away here. They haven't been able to get any significant points of momentum. They can't open up Zero Shadow Blood. That's like the fourth block Gauntlet Hades. Yeah, no, it's like definitely it's just been like Fort Knox over here. And Ragna is down. It's up to Akihiko on Master Chief's side. Super rough here. Locked down. Does not commit to the parry. Does not make contact with anything. Ooh. I don't even know what side that 6P hit on. <laughs> <laughs> like, well. I mean, we saw the beginning of the cross combo in there, like like Yumi throwing out the the, the DP in there, switching over like there, and like kind of keeping up the pace there. And yeah, that's all you need there. Zero Shadow Blood going to be moving on. There it is. There it is. Yeah, the previous the Otaku winner not going down without a fight. Mm -hmm. Could potentially be seen within this top eight. But oh, I don't know what the crowd's getting about over there. <laughs> oh no, I know who it is. We'll get to that. We'll get oh, to that. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I see that coming. I see what's happening. <laughs> But You'll yeah, see no. soon too. <laughs> so, yeah, it, trust me, you're in for a treat. Don't don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a really fun match we have coming up here. But um, yeah, zero shot. There's so many like as I said earlier, so many players are coming in here with just like different goals in mind of what they're looking to uh, achieve or like prove with like the tournament performances. And I think for zero shadow blood, it's definitely in the form of like consistency. Because mm -hmm. like even for the tournaments that they like haven't won, I. Pretty sure he's been in like top three of every offline tournament he played in. Right, since, right. Like CEO, so it's just like, you know, just further emphasizing the fact that it's like I'm one of the best. And I mean, if you get the CEO talk repeat performance, you know, you get into the contention of like, I might just be the best. You yeah. know, like yeah, with a very <laughs> with a very strong team like Susano, just like crunks out the damage basically, just all the places. Definitely like a glass cannon there, but you got the Yumi in there, kind of throwing out and being able to like kind of like like uh, like blanket some of those issues that Susano has. Right. So. Yeah, extremely oppressive team, extremely overwhelming team. Oh, man, yeah, they're, they're sitting down. I, I won't hold you uh, <laughs> chat for any longer. I will let you know what match is coming up next. It's going to be Razo. So Razo's coming back up, mm -hmm. up against Teruto of Japan. Okay. Oh, yeah, if you uh, watch any BB Tag streams and you see, like, somebody up at, like, maybe 4 a.m. your time from a BB Tag to, like, 20 viewers <laughs> and it's, like, Tager Wald, this is the guy. Oh, <laughs> this okay. Is, this is the okay. guy. <laughs> he is one hilarious, like, an extreme <laughs> goofball of a player. They were, like, they were fighting him, um, I think it was T-Turtle for their, like, first round match. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got hit by, like, Teddy Super, and he was, like, emulating the motions of the entire <laughs> Teddy Super. I'm just, Very like, much pantomiming it there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so freaking funny man um but yeah it's not all jokes with him yeah <laughs> he is at this point we've had like a couple of people throughout the years it's been a team that we've seen like all the time in the form of taker wall you know the big bodies but i think in at this point he's probably the best person that plays this team as far as like the active player base goes mm -hmm. um so i mean you know Razo has definitely fought this team before they actually just fought it at evo via oh. koji kong yeah they were, they were able to beat koji kong in a student match but teruto is like another level of wall taker i feel Right, and that means like we're going to be seeing like again, we're going to see the big bodies in there. You're going to see the Tager, uh, Tager mag magnetism at work here. Right. Of course, but in the meantime, we got to get that button check out of the way. Go make sure everything is working just fine. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, on the other end here, like I do, um, I am curious about how Teruto will fight this team. You know, is it is that Razo is going to go with the Carmine Yang? You know. Carmine Yang, for us here in North America, is like a pretty solidified meta-defining team. He's had multiple right. top players play it. Um, a lot of top players nowadays just have it off to the side. Or, or like, Rod kind of committed to like, this is her main comp. Right. But like, even like, I think Scrub has a pocket Yang Carmine. Zero Shadowblood has a pocket yep. Yang Carmine. Everybody just has this other pocket. In Japan, 
I don't know if anyone plays this team. <laughs> that, really? Okay. Yeah, Carmine yeah. and Yang are not very highly rated over there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, even like in the very beginning days of BB Tag, this was one of those, like, I played this team. This was my first team right. in this game. Oh, so. nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, it's like, oh, it's like, like it's just been like damage after damage of getting the setups going on there. But it's, uh, I'm curious to see all that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see how Torito kind of adapts in real time. I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure they're conceptually aware of what this team can do. You know, there's unblockables if you make a mistake. You know, that car. My JA, Rob's gonna be on the chase no matter what. Even if I have to hover under you and do a million two Bs, I want my hit. Yeah, <laughs> it's like please, please give it to me. Please, please, can I have a hit? <laughs> Here we go. Loses top 16. Beam attack continues. Territory versus Razo. Starting right. out with scoops. All right, getting the scoop in there, getting the follow up in here, and Taylor coming out with that. Forcing a wide guard. Kind of, I love like kind of staying back away from the car, like the Carmine bus all blades, like the blood uh, blades in there. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, tried to shimmy with the Yang by B. Trader was not wall 2A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. familiar with Razzle's techniques. I know you want to enter 2B. Air stall with JC, plus play. Yep. Gonna get caught in with the jump in from Carmine here, and you got all the time in the world to set up whatever you want there. Goes in for the reset on the low. One more time, gets in Kotches on that. Okay. And, yeah, Carmine in the corner like this is like plenty of. Wonderful amount of damage here. Look at that red recoverable life. Right. Time to five A. Oh, active swap throw here for Razo. We'll be able to find the pickup. Maybe even two bars. I just don't know if he's gonna be able to enough to kill a 20k character. She doesn't go for the double super, but they do go for the mix up with the overhead. Followed by the pinwheel. That would be the take down wall. This is crazy. Yeah, only a level two resonance available to uh, Tagger for Terato. Oh my god, yeah, Razo just fully taking advantage of like Teruto's lack of like defensive options, but Teruto getting the read on the uh, 2148 empty cancel. Go for uh, command throw on their own, but commits too heavy on the button, gets with punish. Yeah, punish is the partner, but not the main character in there, and we're into a cross combo for Razo. Okay, yeah, showed unblockable Teruto. That's one of the escape options that everyone has in the game. If you have Resonance, you can Resonance from the unblockable and get out stop three. Uh, ends up being significant, getting a sick, like, great chunk of damage on Carmine. Oh, wake up punch, but did not confirm. Yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, if Teruto makes this comeback, this whole venue is popping off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 100%. Like, there's the crowd's just wanting that to happen there. Unfortunately, you're gonna go to get encased in Crystal here. That was... I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> the dream is dead. Teruto yeah. is dead. It, it was like a, a pretty um, textbook BB tag maneuver. You know, you call out your assist. You make it look like you're going to do something with your point character to uh, establish a counterplay from the defender. Right. And then as soon as they do it, you activate cross combo. And you're like, ugh. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, I, I've been had. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for the knowledge. Freeze the screen, just like, oh, what, what are you doing over there, buddy? You, you, you went for something? You need to start a frame for something? It would be a shame for a full screen super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, early on, Terrado getting a little bit of damage from the Waldstein. Okay. Oh, this is significant. Oh, with the grapple around is a pot, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Already, we are burning with Yang, been able to make that save and does. Oh! I love the use of like, going into ah! the reject guard. However, <laughs> help! <laughs> help! <laughs> forcing the burst out there. I need an adult. <laughs> okay. Carmine is an adult right now. <laughs> And putting a stop to the fun. No more grappling to be had. <laughs> Look at Teruto though. So hell on getting in. Razzle's just trying to slow this down, just being like, yo, 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 I need control back of this. You're having a little bit too much fun over there. Okay, yeah, catching on that. You're gonna get all the way, like, like at least enough to get like set up like the, the blood puddles in there, and you get into the cross combo with Yang here. Right, Razzle's bringing this back. I mean, these two big bodies to help you have to quite a bit in order to like really bring this back in your favor, but the momentum is there. The routing is here to bring Taker into the red zone. Did not fully commit to the Rekka. I thought we might have seen a blockable. No oh, way! Goodbye, Yang. It's up to Carmine here on there. Like, like just a wonderful precision from Terato. It's so hard to figure out what Terato is thinking at any given moment. Some of the timings that they've been choosing command throw is just like in timings that you would not formally expect. They, they've been using it almost like a as a counter poke option in some instances. <laughs> okay, yeah, going in like with the, like the like jump heavy on there on the other side. Razo was able to get a fair amount of health back from that like from that finishing off that last combo in there, but still going to get hit. Just a little bit of flip though. Oh, Bates, oh the bait's on the DP from Razo here, and this is going to be. 
big damage if not death. Wall to wall damage. There it is. That'll do it. Naruto able to tie it up 1-1. One, one. I, I saw a lot of the techniques that they were trying to impose there. I think it was a Carmine hitbox, hurtbox issue that didn't allow for it fully because um, they did like to jump body spots to try to bait like an ant here. And like it worked, but Wall just like did not land in the proper spot at all. <laughs> um, but no, that was a solid closeout and like a really big like massive momentum shift. Like having like a grappling around like that that was starting out in the first couple of seconds, that's what Naruto needs to power up. He feeds off the energy. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's a, like anyone who has had the face like a grappler in their local and all that like they just feed on that it's like oh give me power yes <laughs> all right but here comes the Raza. recognizing the significance in keeping Teruto in line out of the gate don't let him get started yep no uh, and definitely like not even going to get close to the ignition here no key in there going to get the follow-up in here and you're still stuck up in the air trying to escape but no can do here yeah. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking Ooh. about, dude. I don't know what he's thinking during any given time. I have no idea he was I think right he, there. You know what I think he's thinking? I think he's just, just do it. Yes. Oh, just do it, DP's out right there. Yeah, the Carmine has oh. to get out of there. It's bleeding. This is feeling like a Teruto round. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah, using that magnetism to push you back in there. Continue the combo out of there. Rolstein wants to play now. Oh Gets in with another clip. This gosh. is all big boys all the time here. You're burning with Yang, but where is it going to go? That's crazy. <laughs> Teruto just did it for the glory, man. It was not even necessary, but just wanted to enforce that I have the read. Unfortunately, Razo one step ahead, so we'll be able to put this on wall. Okay, yeah, following up with the Carmine in there. Oh, that's enough to kill! Enough, the 13k, the, the, like, the damage in there enough to kill, and you got the single taker versus two very low health characters from Razo. Okay, yeah, we're the 5 8 oh, to force some action. This will scale quite a bit with the 2 way starter, so I don't think Razo can kill here, but maybe looking to set up a blockable is what we're looking at. You better believe it. Yeah, that Carmine's gonna be blocking. Don't be fooled. That is a yeah. punish. That is the game. <laughs> yeah, like. Like, even, like, where it looked like in there was, like, was able to still get the block in there, and it looked like just a shred of life, but Carmine was clearly in control. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what makes that setup so strong, is that, like, truly, like, there are some character-specific escapes, like Akatsuki Perry, um, and some supers in the game that can get out of there, but mm -hmm. most characters have nothing, unless you have a resonance. And so, like, if you're doing, like, a reversal super, it may seem like there's a window of opportunity to get out, but if the player has the execution to set up perfectly every time, it's it's safe. It's safe to reversal. Right, and it's very tempting to press a button there because you think otherwise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. swinging! Yeah, the Yang armor coming into play there. Going to get the follow-up switch, the side switch over into the corner here. Going in, catch it like on the low here. Having to hold all this block stun here. Goes in for the DP, but too far away. Up in the air. Okay, yeah, this is a phenomenal opportunity for Razo to have. Gets the 2 be punished on the first attempt for Teruto. Got to be cycling unblockables, baby. Yep, there you go. go. Like throwing out the, the the command throw into the the, the partner assist there. Get the follow up in here. Just like goes for it. Doesn't even get to see what the super is there. Just get hit by the damage in there. Yeah, Rafa was just completely pushed the issue of just like they were fully content to win the entire game based on just on blockable loops. And Teruto was gonna let them. <laughs> Sets up a little bit of patience hit from Teruto. Oh yeah, cross hit hitbox. Good push block there from Teruto. But, you, you know, you're dwindling your win conditions at play here. You see Teruto there. Zero bars. They won't be able to push block again. Yep. Yeah, catches all that. Again, the armor was coming into play there. Almost down, like Waltzy, almost down here. You're still having to hold this down. Man, so many reject guards from Teruto. Just trying to stay, stay alive. Just trying to stabilize their team. Big 5B calls from Razo. Committed to the burst, there was no burst punish. Ooh. Dashes up with the 2A. Teruto just can't get anything significant started. Solo little, taking it again. Yeah, a little bit of a pause in there, and that's it. Going to just go in, finish the job. <laughs> Bring her in to burn and uh, yeah. then deliver the giant punch. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's like, we're going to make sure you hear the song at least one more time here. <laughs> right? Oh, and, man. Yeah. But definitely, like, no hard feelings in there. A really strong match between these two. Razo is, she's going to be moving on. And uh, this is, uh, but, like, it's just, again, like, Team Big Body, Team Grappler there. Just very exciting to see. Just, like, especially, like, some of those, like, those times you were talking about it where it was just, like, yeah, they're not jumping, they're, di they're diving, basically, at that point. There's no other option. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh man, but like even with that in mind, I still imagine 
it's not going to be that plain and simple between these two because I know they have played uh, plenty of matchups against each other, uh, being within that Asia region. And um, yeah, Elon is one more dominant hill just within over there. So Hashimoto has to be coming in with a multi layer game plan, not just that, but something to look out for. Yeah, quite a match to get into top eight between these two. Well, let's get to it. Here we go. Oh, there it is instantly! Instantly you see the wise JA to cover the hill to up back. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I know what you want to do, just like get in there. Get a lot of forcing the burst out. Orye in control now. Gonna keep it back. Yeah, that, that DP from Hilda goes quite the distance. Yes, and having that new 6P to cover it is something that we will take here if you're L on. Oh, will it be DP safe? Are you gonna confirm? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Catching on that, oh, unfortunately, Hilda is is the one active character here. Going to get the push off the reject. Tried to follow up with the Weiss, but no can do. All right, yeah, you see Elon trying to create that today's Hashimoto just trudging in. Oh, there's that DP yet again. Makes contact with the new assist. And even if you don't get a conversion there, just the sequence alone does quite a bit of damage in itself. All right, yeah, going down in there, switching out for the light. Oh, get the new out to play here. Just trying to play a little bit of a zoning here. Just kind of keep Weiss in the corner. Hashimo has the deal with it, like, so far. Working out pretty good for Elon. Oh, wow, yeah, wanted to get a call on the TRM. Hashimo did not commit the push block. Oh, no, yeah, that new coverage on that assist is so crazy. Even the pe uh, post trophy. Yeah, it goes in, gets a like a throw loop set up going on here. Get the follow up, but it's just a single touch is all you need to bring down Wasp. Oh, uh, Weiss, Hashimo on a single player with Orye. Alright, oh, okay, the throw tech. Hashimo trying to make this happen. There's so much ground to be made here. Unfortunate drop there from Elon. Nell Torrin, but Orye is nowhere in sight. Got to keep it up. Alright, immediate jump to get away from Orye. And these, these throws have been working wonders for Hashimo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, can't turn the up back. Elon forced the burst. This is not undoable for Hashimoto, is what I would say. <laughs> but yeah. the IAD back JA here from Elon should be able to make it happen. Yep. Get hit with the pokey pokes, and there we go. Distortion finish. Elon getting one on the board. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man, I think it was Warsaw or Kirby that gifted uh, Elon that new cutout. And I got to say, it feels like it's been a power-up for him. He's <laughs> After he took that match, he grasped onto it so tightly, as if he was, like, thanking her through the game for allowing for that victory. Yeah. I like, love it. It's like a super villain, like, petting their cat, basically. It's like, yes, <laughs> very good you. Continue. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, his tag is named after New. He's LL yeah. New 13 for a reason. He loves this character. Mm -hmm. Get the follow up. Oh. Ah, yeah, burst save for the DT Ender. Oh, no. Orie getting clipped immediately after the uh, burst. So she's just going to have to hold a lot of this. This is so rough. Elon is laser focused, dude. It's yeah. just. This is such an Elon round if I've ever seen one. Like. Yeah. Hashimoto has not been able to play the game. Yeah, it like has like perfect health on their side. The build, build like the position, like the build health is good here. Get the follow up here. I like and Hashimoto's just not been able to do anything at all. Yeah, resonance, but like literally on at full health. This might be the first perfect that we see of the game uh, of the day. It depends. Okay, Still, no. Yeah, like just barely on that at that at that point. Letting the uh, the resonance build on the other side. Switch like getting uh, the partner assist from new. Switching out the combo, you are still stuck in a big sandwich here. 12 inch sub. Get the yep, follow yep. Bring down the sword, and that's going to be two. There it is. Elon, one game away from getting to this top eight that they ever so desire. Making it happen. Put Korea on the map, point it to New. She is the reason I do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see. If Elon will be having a ticket for tomorrow for that BB Tag Top 8, Hashimo, of course, looking to make it happen. But what I've been noticing is, like, Hashimo is taking to the skies. They are locking up Hilda, but it's really been that new spike chaser assist that's been really messing up the game. Yeah, because, so. like, even if they make contact from Hilda, the spikes are coming. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, like, and there's not a lot you can do other than block and go back on the ground, and you're back where you started at that point, or you're going to get hit. Yeah. Okay, getting the DP out of there is just like just a little bit of extra help. And for Hilda, right back across the screen there, having to force like like has the super in there to get a little bit of damage in there. Thanatos getting in there, cross combo, forcing the burst out, but surprise, surprise, news gonna get the damage now. Exceptional sequence of Kashmo, the sneakiest instant overhead in the world, kept the burst safe, and now new is your precious. Well, I respect it, but I'm gonna have to put a little hurt. 
really get you out of your comfort zone if at all possible. But look at Hellon, right back to the full screen game. Oh, that was a very good jump button there from Weiss in order to nullify the Hilda 4P. Yeah, try to eat, like a little bit of a reject guard to get out of the way there, but unfortunately you're still getting clipped in there. The damage is dwindling slowly and slowly for Hashimo. Yeah, Elon's trying to make sure that the ground is a no assist call zone, but left a little bit of a gap as soon as it was there. The Hashimo 6P with Orie came a swing in, taking down that new solo Hilda. Honestly, she's a pretty good 2v1 character. So Hashimo needs to put the hurting on now, and he yeah. does so. 6P. Yeah, Elon really back in the, sh in the seat as Hashimo celebrating that. Still on the board, still continuing. Continuing on there. <laughs> Hashimoto's like, yeah, look at what I can do here. I can dash across, give you the pokey poke. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yeah, doing the point to Alon. It's just like, the move's on you. I know I got to do a reverse sweep, but I'm feeling it. Yeah. They go back to Karen Slug. They're going back in, abandon the temple. Get ready. Get ready. All right, well, let's see if Hashimo will be able to do the unthinkable here. Reverse sweep on Elon. It's been looking so comfortable here thus far. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, and you pointed out earlier, like, again, we saw it again. Hashimo going immediately into the air to fight the Hilda off here and getting a little bit more comfortable, like, getting, like, some extra damage here. Good tech from Elon to get away from that, but you're still stuck in the cross combo between the two for a brief moment. Yeah, I like that Hashimo prioritized hitting new to stop the cross combo situation rather than mm -hmm. chasing Hilda. It's a pretty unorthodox answer to that scenario. Mario, but it ends up paying off a dividend. You know, they got punished, but it was only for a little bit. It could have been so much worse if they chased Hilda instead. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you're going down surprise in the overhead, forcing the burst out from Hashimo here. Oh, a drop combo, so Elon can't get the full amount of damage here on White's push block. I want Ooh. to nullify anything, and honestly, in terms of damage differentials here, I think that was a worthy risk to take it for Hashimo. You know, clip down the uh, Hilda a little bit, just eat a new punish. New damage is not very high. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, like, you know, like at least you got the, the the better part of the like the options there. Yeah. And this game. Oh! oh, push the push far away on that into the DP and going to get a cross combo for Elon here. Big opportunity. So that was actually extremely galaxy brain there from Elon. Hashimo very sneakily set up an unblockable with the uh, Orie 4P uh, followed by the Orie DP afterwards from the act switch. Elon knew and push blocked Orie <laughs> and oh. got the punish afterwards in order to kill her. I can't believe that he recognized that situation. Ooh. All right, catching on the other side. This is... Uh, Again, bringing it down as much, wearing down that uh, resonance from Hashimo. Goodbye. Still has five meters to work with here. But however, you've just got a long way to go at this point. Uh, how do we make it happen? Elon just being the wall that does not falter. Oh, clutch push block. Yeah. Oh, but nowhere to be found. What an action there from Elon. You reach, but no one is to be. Oh, there it is. Super yeah. across the screen. Oh, Double kill. Catch is on there. Just another touch. There's that touch you need there. Have to deal with the new here. Still keeping on, clinging off for dear life. I've seen Hashimo do so much. They're a fan favorite, but do they got one more in them? One Are more we Weiss gaming? Wise Are we Weiss gaming? Uh, but they're trying Elon's defense. Just seems unbreakable. Rampage time is on the way. Remember, Hashimo doesn't even have a residence at this point. Oh yeah, because you know, like back on there, plenty of meat. Like everyone was chipping away a little bit slowly here. Oh, Get the jump in. The pause in there, but Des gets the clip on there. Y'all, I'ma lose my mind if Hashimo makes this comeback. This is so hard to do. Resonance Look. gone. Going to switch it on the other side. Going to keep it on there. Got pew, pew, pews. And the pews work here. At the very last moment, Ella gets in there with the strike there. New gaming reigns supreme on there. There it is. Just from sheer willpower. Oh. Able to make it happen. But the heart of Hashimo, man. <laughs> oh yeah, Hashimo was like, it's like, come over here, come over here, give me that. And like, that what, a, what a game between those two, though. It's just like be, being able to bring, bring it back, and like just kind of like leaning onto the hope at the very end there, trying to, trying their best. But it was, it is Elon going to be moving on into top eight. Yes, you know, a, a bit of a heartbreaker in the, the sense of like, you know, we have some international competitors about Mexico, Korea, Japan, um, and it seems like only one of them will be able to make the top eight, and will be in Korea. But um, you know, if anything, I just want to let them know I'm eternally grateful for them coming out to a tournament like this, make it as stacked, as crazy as it has been, because it's been a wild bracket. It's only been the top 16, and the top eight is coming up tomorrow, man. Yeah, and absolutely, like, uh, Hashimoto's been coming out to a lot of the U.S. tournaments recently, and it's been just, like, very excited. Like, that that excitement is infectious. It's just yeah. been, like, like, you can't but help but feel excited for BB Tag just through them, so.
Absolutely. It's uh, heartwarming in a sense, but uh, I believe it does wrap us up from here. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a preview. I hope you enjoyed what the BB Tag Top 16 had to actually do. If you thought this was good, mm. catch me in Risky Sweep tomorrow morning for that top bait for you. Yeah. We'll be able to call that for you as well. Early in the morning, <laughs> get your breakfast cereal. Get like watching. You're watching Saturday morning cartoons with us. That's what you're doing.